Hello Electroheads. Now normally I've got something very extreme for you, but today I've got something a bit more simple and a bit more relaxed. This is the Ampere Tora S. It's a hybrid electric bike at a great price point of 1,350 pounds that I believe has everything you need to commute around the city and to cruise around the forest in a beautiful place like we are today in Hampstead Heath. I'm gonna test it out and show you why I like this bike so much. What are we riding with today, mate? Well, this is a one-wheel helmet and it's got that retro kind of fighter pilot's vibe. It's actually got a red strip because I'm going to Secret Garden Party this weekend as a rebel fighter with my e-bike sound system bicycle. So I thought I'd bring it out today because it looks great. This isn't a mountain bike, but the setup is brilliant for just getting around like a nicely groomed trail. And if you're the kind of rider that just wants to make your cruise through the park a little bit more leisurely, this is definitely the kind of bike for you. Like having these 28 inch by two inch tires, hydraulic brakes, front suspension, like does the trick to keep this bike light, but also manages to handle the terrain. I mean, it uses Suntour 65 mil front shocks, which isn't a huge amount of suspension, but it's a nice amount for, for this job. The bike weighs 21 kilos, which is one of the lightest e-bikes you can get in the UK. And at 1,350 pounds, like, that's brilliant. It's not like it's built like a road bike to be like really lightweight. So 21 kilos for a hybrid bike that can handle terrain like this, I think is pretty impressive. The Ampere Tora S is an electric hybrid bike designed for the ease of use, whether it be commuting or leisure riding. It features a lower crossbar for easy mounting and the riding posture is relaxed and stable. The lightweight design can handle rough terrain well which makes this suited for riding in the countryside and in town. The 250 watt 36 volt motor puts out 65 newton meters of torque, which is the standard for a legal e-bike. The power delivery feels smooth and the hub motor works well with a seven speed Shimano shifter, coupled with a 10.4 amp hour or 16 amp hour LG removable battery pack. The bike can achieve 40 to 70 miles of range, which I believe is a realistic estimate with the LG cells being used. The 16 amp hour version comes in at 1,550 pounds. At 21 kilos, the bike is impressively light for an e-bike. Yet the bike isn't missing any tricks either, with the front and rear lights, a pannier rack, front shocks, kickstand, mud guards, and chunky hybrid 700 by 45 c tires. With this set of features, you could do comfortable daily commutes through the city in all weather, or stick on a couple of pannier bags and be set to tour the country. Most importantly, this bike takes very little effort to ride. The motor pushes you well, and the geometry of the bike makes it easy to mount, and easy to handle, which is ideal for those who want to make movement easier for themselves, whether you want to save energy or if you just want to go further. It comes in either teal or stone, and the frame is 6061 lightweight aluminium with neatly rooted internal cables. The display is an LED display with an optional LCD color screen upgrade available. I found the basic display with the five power levels did everything I needed. The brakes are brilliant. The addition of hydraulic brakes puts this bike in another league. They're responsive and strong and make your riding experience much easier. You can buy this bike now on the Electroheads Marketplace. So head over there and have a look at the options and have a look at some of the other bikes we've got in store. You can even get this bike funded on the Cycle to Work scheme and have a bunch of other pay later options too. I mean, it's 250 watt motor 65 newton meters of torque with a Shimano seven speed gear setup. I'm still pedaling, just barely. This is a nice steep ride. I've done plenty of times on other bikes and it's handling it well. Oh, lost the chain doing that because I was doing some extreme maneuvering there and almost lost my finger by activating the, uh, the uh, pedal assist because as soon as that moves, the motor goes. So in a safer situation, turn the bike off put the kickstand down, and then calmly apply the chain back onto the bike whilst covering your hands in grease so that you can then rub them on your jeans or somewhere better than that. Ah, a leaf. There, Mojo's sticking your chain back on tutorial. All right, onwards. When you're looking for an e-bike at this price range, most companies tend to cheap out and stick mechanical disc brakes on. Brakes are a big part of the safety of your bike and also maintenance. With hydraulic disc brakes, they're self-adjusting and they just work well all the time with so much more braking force. So really glad that they've managed to put that on this. Also, having front and rear headlights, pannier rack as a standard means that you're set up for touring, riding at night, commuting, going through the forest at night. That's really important, not having to go out and add extra parts to your bike, which can 
bit expensive and complicated. You might see here, you've got 28 inch by 1.75 inch puncher protected all-terrain or sort of hybrid tires. These are my favorite kind of tires. I can get through the mud, through the forest, and I can get through the city without a huge amount of rolling resistance. So nice pick. So this is like being in the sound of music. Go on, Will, show us your editing. Yeah, I'd expect the ride to be a lot worse on bumps like this, but yeah, with the seat, the tires, and that front shocks is quite nice. Well, not quite nice, it's, it's manageable. I'd much rather be on the path, to be honest. Each bike has specific componentry for a specific need. So who is this set out for? I think the Ampere Tora S is set out for someone who's probably like 30 plus, even getting up to like grandma, granddad age, because this bike is easy to get on and it's very easy to control. I'd safely chuck my grandma on here and she would fly up the hills no problem. Again, Will. Yeah, I mean, not to say it's an uncool bike. It's not an extremely exciting bike and the adrenal glands are not kicking off today, but it's a different kind of sensation. It's cruising, it's leisurely, and it's efficient. It's low energy usage on your fun day out. So yeah, I mean, this definitely has a place in my life. I mean, this bike kind of reminds me of the kind of bikes you get in Amsterdam. Amsterdam, everyone rides bikes. Bicycles are a priority over cars and pedestrians, and it's really scary because you almost get run over sometimes, but they know how to build a bike and ride a bike. Amsterdam bikes always have a rear pannier rack, which is just essential because you, like, you want to carry your shopping, you want it to actually be a practical vehicle, then you need a rear pannier rack. And you have this thing as well, so you can stick your uh, banana underneath or water bottle. So the difference with this bike to other mid-range bikes on the market in the UK is that this bike is designed by someone in England who I assume is from England. And you know, when I rode one of the specialized bikes back a few months ago, I kind of realized that it wasn't all about high-end componentry. It's about the choice of componentry and the design in there. And um, so it's the thought and the experience that really matters when designing a bike. Well, to conclude our day in Hampstead on the Ampere Tora S, I'm pretty impressed with what they put together. You know, a bike that's designed in Devon, England. These guys know what the average rider in the UK want. With the combination of hydraulic disc brakes, these tires, these shocks, everything here is like just what I need to cruise around on a low budget bike. You know, it's not complicated and putting together the right bike doesn't require in incredibly like high cost parts. You know? I think what makes it for me about this bike is making a great bicycle isn't about putting together the most expensive high-end componentry. It's about putting together the right componentry for the right setup. And Ampere have designed something great here. Being able to design something that delivers at this level at 1,350 pounds, I think is a great achievement especially that it comes in at 21 kilos. It's just, it's just the right setup. So yeah, let us know what you think of it. Uh, check it out in the Electroheads Marketplace. You can get it with the 10.4 amp hour battery and the 16 amp hour battery if you want a bit of extra range up to 70 miles. So um, yeah, see you next time.